What's up, you guys? So today, I got a surprise for y'all. In this bag that we have acclimated, our new baby koi. Now let me tell you a story. A long time ago, when I first got this pond, I had a big, bright yellow butterfly koi that was with them. Now, this koi would always come up to the surface and eat, which encouraged those koi to come up and eat. Now that one passed away for no absolute reason. All the other koi were fine. None of them passed. Just that singular one. Oh, hi, turtle. This guy was sleeping up on the dock all day. But yeah. So, yeah, I got two new koi. One that looks exactly like my black and orange one in here, but butterfly. And another one that looks like the one that passed away. Because I... Because, haha, uh -huh, Twister, two of the koi actually, well, I'm not sure if one passed, but one koi actually just went missing. Now, Snapping Turtle was going in the pond for like the last couple of days, and a couple months ago for the first time, he went in the koi pond. But, so he must have eaten one of the koi, which was completely black. But now we got a, um, two new butterfly koi. All right. So what I'm going to do before I put these beautiful, gorgeous koi in is I'm going to feed, this is what I feed them, I feed them koi pellets, is I'm going to feed the koi first, ooh that's a little bit too much. So what I'm going to, what I'm going to do here is, now, you're asking why I, I'm feeding my koi before I put them in. Well, that's because I don't want the new koi to mess with the new baby koi. Now, I believe one is a, sh not a Showa koi, a Kohaku, I believe. I believe it's called, but they're not. Or Kohaku are like show koi, but I don't believe mine are good enough. To, well, they are good enough, they're adorable, but. You know, never mind, I forgot what I was going to say. But now we're just going to take these bad boys out. Hold on, I'm going to take them out in the open so that way I can show you guys before they swim down into the depths I just reached into the second bag ooh goldfish just came up and popped the surface right now ah here we go here's new mirror this koi has a mirror design Come on, buddy. No turtle. No turtle. There goes little Cooley. I'm gonna name him Mirror because he's got a special design. Oh no, I'm gonna name him what the last koi's name was. Butter. Buttercup. Cause... Now, now the Kohaku butterfly. This koi. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. These are gonna look great. They're probably gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you, they're probably gonna go with the goldfish. Oh, that looks sick. That looks so sick. All right, buddy, just chill out. No turtle. No turtle. Yeah, turtle. There's too much space for the turtle to be messing with those two. So I'm just gonna dump out the water right here. I got feeders for the new Marble Okara catfish. Look. There's one of the ba new baby koi, and there's the other one. Oh, they're so sick. By the way, I might be getting a channel catfish for this pond soon. Because my local pet store has a blue cat, well not a channel cat, a blue cat. And, yeah, if, if we're lucky, might be able to get it. Oh. Let's see if you can see him. Here's the koi right here. I gotta clean out the intake. I gotta clean out the pump. The little pump. Oh, hi, Pleco. Pleco's right next to my hand. Now, if you guys are worried about the koi, if anything, if the koi don't get along with, like, the turtles, 
I got a 20 gallon. I got a 20 gallon baby tiny turtle tank. I could fill that up and it'll be 40 gallons. And then yeah, look, there's one of the new baby koi. Oh, there's the other one. Hi, baby. Oh my god, y'all are so beautiful. I was already swimming with the goldfish. This is so sick. And you know what's cool? The new butterfly koi have longer fins than the than the old butterfly koi. Dude, this is so sick. And the new ones are like, 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 all right. The new koi were in a 20 gallon with like 50 other koi. And they all came up to the sur- Oh, oh, my turtle just dived in the water. Freaking dirt litter. Yeah, so these ones are gonna... Yeah, they were all coming up to the surface in the tank. Yeah, so these ones are gonna teach the other ones how to come up to the surface. I mean, they all... The, like that... Alright. Like, there's a... The big, the big, big black and orange one, it already comes up to, it already comes up to the surface, but not as much as the old golden one did. Dude, I love, I love them. I, I just love koi in general. Bro. Red cell catfish, tiger shovel nose, and koi were like the reasons I started getting into this hobby in the first place. Dude, this is so awesome. Who knows, maybe I might add a fancy goldfish in here too. Oh, there's a pleco, there's a pleco, there's a pleco next to the turtle. Dude, earlier it was, oh, oh, oh! Dang, the pleco almost sucked on the turtle shell. Dude, those koi are literally like three inches. That's how big those koi were, the big koi were when I got them. Now they're like eight inches. Those goldfish I got were like the size of a minnow when I got them. Now they're a good seven inches. It may look small on camera, but but in person they're just massive. But yeah, I'm gonna see y'all. I'm gonna see y'all later. I gotta go. I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you guys really like the new baby koi's. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see y'all later.